Suppose we're asked to find the equation of a line given two points. On the left side here, I'm given two points, but one of them happens to be the y-intercept. You notice that because x is equal to 0 on the y-intercept. So this, this one has an order pair, and the second order pair is the y-intercept. The process is the same on the right side. On the right side, we have two points, but neither one is the y-intercept. Okay, first step, find the slope. We've had a lot of practice with that. Subtract the y's, subtract the x's, reduce the fraction. Now this is going to be pretty straightforward because y equals mx plus b, we have found m, the negative 3 halves, b was the y-intercept, we knew that, and we are finished. Now, if that's a satisfactory style of the answer, the slope-intercept, great. If it's not, then we're going to have to make adjustments. This doesn't always happen, but if we did, I'd probably multiply everything by 2. That would get rid of this fraction and make it just a negative 3. So we get 2y, negative 3x, and 14. And we need to get the variables on the same side. So I add 3x to both sides. That gets all the variables on the left. 3x plus 20, 2y equals 14. Some books, that's the style they want with the constant over here. Some other textbooks will want the constant on the left. Then we need to subtract negative 14. Okay, back over to this one. Very similar problem now, but we're going to find the slope again using the two ordered pairs. But we don't have the y-intercept, so we're going to have to go with the point-slope formula. That's y minus a particular y equals slope times x minus a particular x. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use the 2 and the 4 for the uh, x1, y1. So we get y minus the 4 equals slope x minus the 2. I'm using the 2 and the 4. Okay, distribute the negative 3. And depends on how you want the answer. If you want it y by itself, then it becomes a simple add 4 to both sides. If you want the x's and y's on the left side, then you're going to add 3x to both sides. So I think with a little bit of time, you can probably figure out how I got these three forms based on this blue form right here.